Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here. And we are doing a little bit of a trial ride with the new Insta360 camera. And we'll see what kind of footage I can get on a motorcycle. Now, one of the things that uh, I have seen with other channels as far as the uh, footage that they do. Whoa, that was a little slick right down there. But uh, some of the stuff that they do with their channel, man, they really... Um, blow the scene out and it's really distorted and stuff like that and I'm trying to get a more I don't know flat video image like you would normally get off of a regular camera so that's what I'm trying to do with this now I do like the fact that I can spin the image around so I can show you um, you know, like that big mural right there. I'm hoping I can spin that image around and show you that. I don't always have to rely on my helmet camera. Um, the other thing I can do, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, basically I should be able to point that camera in any direction and catch footage anywhere around me. But my big thing is, can I get it to look flat? I don't want all that fish eye distortion to where it's rounding the, uh, uh, the edge of the image or anything like that. You know, I don't want to go past a light post and the light post starts to look bent. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's see what I can do with this thing. I probably won't talk too much. I'm just going to run to a local butcher shop and pick up some meat for dinner. And uh, you guys can just sit back and enjoy the ride. And I'll... Uh... <laughs> the lady pushing the cart was yelling at us. I have no idea who that was. But anyway, yeah, I'll just drive around a little bit, kind of play with the uh, um, motion aspects of the camera, and uh, hopefully it'll be kind of interesting for you guys to watch. So I'll just shut up and let you guys enjoy the ride.
right guys, so I'm just about to my butcher. So I'm gonna start wrapping up the video here. Yes, it's gonna be a nice little short video. But uh, a few things I've noticed already, that camera seems to be vibrating a lot. So I'm hoping that the stabilization is good enough to take a lot of it out. I mean, just going over those little railroad tracks right there, really bounced it around a lot. I went on some pretty rough roads. And I know that my uh, tires and suspension are all low on air. So I feel like I'm bouncing on a waterbed. <laughs> But, you know, I really think that the, uh, that the image should be good. You know, I've taken the camera out on hikes already. And when I've been walking with it, the image, station, the image stabilization has been really quite good. So I'm happy about it. So basically, you know, how do you like the footage? You know, of being able to show the side of a building and passing people or cars and stuff like that because I can actually track those movements as I'm going by. The other thing is, is I don't know if I like the camera the way it's situated like that. I don't know if I like it sticking up in the air. So I may have to play with the uh, layout of it. get it uh, to be a little lower somehow so yeah I think that's what I'll end up having to do I kind of want to get it to where I have the same shot that I was having with the hero 2 and that you'll see you know almost a full body of me with my hand on the uh, grip over here But yeah, we'll see what it does. We'll see what the footage is like, and I hope you guys like it. Because this is pretty much what it's going to be from now on. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week for a cooking video. And uh, what am I going to do? I don't know yet. sounds good a ham sounds good but uh, well, Tim and Sam gone and generally can't eat ham because of the sodium level so instead of doing a full ham I might just do a ham steak that sounds good so stick stay tuned next week and uh, we'll do a ham steak for dinner that sounds good all right, guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the road. Bye.